I'm a runner and a number of years ago I was living in Hong Kong and the pollution was getting worse and worse to the extent that I wasn't able to run outside. Working in the apparel industry, working with factories, working at the development level in innovation, I felt that there was really something that I could do. So instead of just making things better, I wanted to make things better, but in a more sustainable, more appropriate way. And I really believed that there was something I could do there. So bit by bit, I started to incorporate more and more sustainability projects within the remit of what I was doing. And now it's 100% of what I do. The dyeing industry in general right now feels a little medieval to me. Um, it doesn't seem like there's been huge changes. You walk around a traditional dye factory, um, it just seems messy, um, clumsy. And I think there's a huge amount that can be done to make that different, really clean up efficiencies. I see dry dye as really making a statement in the industry. And um, we're kind of putting a stake in and saying, look, this is what you have to aspire to. We're not happy with X percent less. We want zero. We're really striving to get as good as we possibly can. I think we need to have color. Um, gosh, there's so many gray days. If we didn't have color, it would be really dreary. So I can't see color disappearing at all, but I can see that we're gonna be applying colors in different ways. Um, and as I say, it, it might not necessarily just be dependent on putting fabric into color and bringing it out colored at the other end. If you can use supercritical carbon dioxide to dye fabrics, I ask the question, what else can we do with supercritical carbon dioxide in our industry to make really phenomenal changes? The first time I heard about this technology, an old friend uh, uh, told me, and I remember uh, I was in Thailand in our office. Um, I have to tell you, my heart, my heart was pounding. I wanted to get on the machine immediately. In the future, when the consumer goes to the store and see a dry dye garment versus non-dry dye garment, it should at least be uh, the same price uh, for the same product or same price with better performance for the same product. Or I even want to dare to say that it's going to be more cost effective, even, even, even to that level. <laughs>